Hey there for Dragonfly and me friends. Thanks so much for joining me at another episode of Jean in the Kitchen with Dragonflies and me. And today I have a special guest. This is my baby, my youngest Aaron. Cool. And um, <laughs> he and I have been talking about doing a video for my YouTube. And like I always tell you guys, Dave and my boys, Aaron and his brother Evan love to cook. We do a lot of cooking together. And uh, as you guys all know, we do menu planning. So the boys get to pick certain dishes on the menu as well. And this is one recipe that my boys have enjoyed for years. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a blackened catfish. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this is my YouTube channel. My blog is for Dragonflies and Me. And there's great content that comes out almost every day here, whether it is gardening or cooking or organization. I also uh, put my podcast uh, episodes up here as well. But today, my partner here and I are going to make a blackened catfish. And so this recipe, I actually usually do on the grill in the summer, but um, like I told you guys the other day, Dave hooked me up with these wonderful butane uh, kitchen countertop uh, fryers. So super excited about that. But Aaron and I each have a cast iron pan. It's seasoned beautifully with some olive oil and we're gonna heat those up. Right here, oh, and again, if you're new here, the recipe with the ingredients and the directions will be at my blog. What I do here is I demonstrate and I show you how to cook it, but then I like for you to go over to my blog, visit me there for the ingredients and the details of how to make it. So right here, I have our seasoning mix that Aaron's going to uh, prepare one catfish filet and I'm gonna do the other one. I have four, one for each of us. So when I shop, I generally try to get, you know, I plan for who's gonna be here and for dinner. So one thing I do want to mention is this is a new seasoning mix that I started using. No affiliates uh, marketing here. I just am trying it and we liked it. So it's Chef Paul Prudhomme Magic Seasoning Blends Blackened Redfish Magic. Well, I think you can use it for catfish too. But what I did is I used the whole bottle, which is a half a cup. And then I also put in some of my own seasonings to spice it up a bit. As y'all know, I like to find a recipe and alter it and make it, in my opinion, better. So there's some oregano in here, some paprika, some garlic and whatnot, but you can see the complete ingredient list at my blog for Dragonflies and Me. So Aaron and I are going to get going. So let's turn on our skillets. So we're gonna leave those on high. So when you're cooking, is that good, baby? That's on. Yeah, yep, it is. So when you're cooking with cast iron, just like any other, uh, frying pan, you really do want to heat that skillet up. You want it to be piping hot. And then Aaron and I are going to take two tablespoons of, um, or I'm sorry, one tablespoon of butter and we're going to swirl that in our pan once it gets a little bit hotter. And then we're going to take a filet, bread it into the seasoning, pressing it down, and then we're going to put it in that butter and let it fry for a couple minutes on each side. So we're feeling this out. But I did want to mention while these pans are heating too, if you don't have your own copy of my very popular cookbook, Lovingly Seasoned Eats and Treats, and Erin, you got lots of recipes in here you like, right? <laughs> they like to cook, they like to eat. But um, you can now get this also in a downloadable PDF version. So great, great option there. My soft cover, Spiral Bound, the cookbook has 500 pages about and with a thousand recipes in it. 100 of those are mine. Got a great canning section. I'm going to be teaching a lot of the recipes out of this cookbook in the summer once my garden gets going. But um, so again, lovingly seasoned eats and treats, soft cover or PDF version can be purchased at my website for dragonfliesandme.com. So I think these are hot, Aaron. Let's throw in, oh, there we go. Oh, Aaron's a sizzling. So let's turn it around. I should have given you a wooden spoon too, buddy. So we're gonna do that, let it kind of sit in there. And so while you're stirring yours up, I'm gonna now take one of the catfish and I did salt these catfish and I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it when I'm putting it in the pan. So, oh, there goes mine, she's a sizzling. She's a sizzling. All right, so I'm gonna press that catfish in so that I can get it nice and seasoned. And then I do have a little fork over here, I'm gonna make sure that it's all covered nicely, pressing down, flipping it again maybe, and getting any other areas. 
Okay, let's turn that down a bit. We're gonna turn down the heat just a tad so we're not browning our butter, which is another recipe for brown butter. Okay, so you ready to do this one? Yeah. Okay, so there we go. So Erin is gonna cook that. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. And now you're gonna set that. And I'm going to bread mine now. Ooh, that smells good. Butter makes everything better, baby. That's a saying here. Actually, we say butter and bacon makes everything better. So, okay, so here we go. A little bit more, pressing that on. Oh, this is gonna be good. And the special thing we're going to have with this, oh, turn it up a little bit. Uh, we are going to make some dirty rice with this. I'll have pictures of that, and uh, that recipe will be coming soon. And Oh, I do want to just a little bit of olive oil on there. Too. Yep. So you do yours on that side. Just do it like that. But right over back here, if you guys remember, Dave and I made a seafood bisque a couple weeks ago, and I had the um, the soup, the broth left over. Uh, we ate all the the lobster and the shrimp out of it. But we've had some of the broth broth left over, and so I'm gonna drizzle this over the fish and the rice once it's done. And it's going to be super, super yummy. Smells good. Smells good, yeah. huh, buddy? Yeah. So, Erin, what is your favorite thing that Dave or I make here? Probably the chicken pickle pasta. Oh, so that recipe. Yes. Yeah, you I like, like this too. Fish. Yeah, so my chicken pesto pasta is a super yummy one that can be found at my blog for dragonfliesandme.com as well. So this is, you want the fish to... Uh, cook for about two to three minutes on each side. I'm gonna check it out and then we're gonna flip them and then cook it again. What's that? You think? Check it. Yeah, let's turn it. Go ahead and flip it. There you go. Hold the handle. Oh yeah. And it's supposed to be blackened, friends. It's blackened catfish. Alexa, turn off the timer. So I'm gonna let this go for a little bit longer. I'm swirling it in the butter. Seems to be a lot hotter than yours. You think there's this? It's like the same, but it cooks a lot faster. Yeah, you had a little bit smaller one, so. But yeah, so let's watch the timer. 114. So what is your favorite fish recipe? Um, put it in the comments below. And if it's uh, something you want to share with me, you'd like me to try it out on my channel, send me an email at for dragonfliesandme at gmail.com. I would love to try it and I'll definitely give you credit. And if I use your recipe, you will win a free copy of my cookbook, Lovingly Seasoned Eats and Treats. So, let's see yours. So we want to check it. So try to break it apart and see. No, it's still not ready. So you'll know what fish is ready when it falls apart. Oh. Here's about that time. Almost. I gotta put mine now. And that drizzle a little bit more. Did you, did you put olive oil on it? I did not that side though. No. Okay. I have always gardened and cooked with my children. Um, Aaron spends a lot of time when, with me in the garden too. They don't always enjoy it when it's weeding, but harvesting is fun, right? Yeah. yeah. I, hate <laughs> I hate weeding too, but you know what? Weeding comes with it, right? Almost. Mine's almost done. How's yours doing? I feel like we should do this out again. You think so? Okay. And you know, I really encourage you. This side's a little bit lighter though. I don't know. I think I might turn it over again. Thanks. You know, I really want to encourage you to get your kids involved. You know, my kids like to the game. They like to be on their phones and stuff. But, you know, we have family time. And this is something that really builds relationships with you and your kids. And having that kind of fun with them. And especially if it's something they enjoy, right? You don't want to have to do things that it's all drudgery, but um, definitely cooking is fun. And oftentimes when a kid gets in the kitchen, they actually really enjoy it because it gives them the opportunity to be experimental. It's funny because Evan and Erin do a lot of things in the kitchen together, uh, especially making homemade popcorn, right? <laughs> yeah. And Evan is usually the one who makes it in the pot, and Aaron is usually the one who's getting the butter ready and prepared for it. And he'll season it, and he gets it put in the containers, and they, we have our family uh, movie nights. 
but this is looking like it is really in the mess, huh? Yep. Oh, right down there is perfect. I'll taste it. Oh, it's that hot. You can blow it. <laughs> All right. All right, Aaron's going to take the first taste. It's hot. Blow on it, buddy. <laughs> Even if it's bad, see how good it is. No. <laughs> just about done. I think I just want to cook it a little bit more on that side. I so friends, that side though. Yeah, exactly. So friends, um, you know, this has been fun. Um, I'm going to do more hints in the kitchen. Me and Aaron and my son Ryan or Evan will definitely be helping out in the kitchen sometimes too. So I just want to, as always, say thank you for joining me here at For Dragonflies and Me. Be sure to stop by my blog for dragonfliesandme.com to see the complete recipe and all the ingredients and the directions on how to cook it. And as I always say, Erin, do you, you know what I always say? Eat fresh. Oh, eat fresh locally and shop local. Yeah. Okay, so eat fresh. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, I'm so proud. And one more thing before I wrap up. So Erin ha had to just do a presentation at school. And you know, they play sports and everything, but Aaron came home and he's like, Mom, I'm doing mine on farmer's markets. And I was I was like, oh my gosh, I love this child. So he's definitely my baby. But now let's say it together, Aaron. Eat fresh, shop, shop local, local, and have a happy day. day. <laughs> Bye now, friends. Bye.